Let me ask you guys a question. Shout out anybody in the room who's ever broken anything during sex. <laughs> oh, takes a bit of settling. What, what did, yep, you broke something? What, where were you? Lamp. A lamp or a lamb? <laughs> Where are you, love? Are you, where are you? There you are. Hello, love. It was a lamp. What kind of lamp? It had a, like, ceramic base to it. Ooh, a ceramic base. <laughs> oh. And did it just... Was it, like, movement and it just toppled off, or...? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Did anybody get hurt, or was it all right? No, it was all fine. It was all right. So we've got a, a lamp stroke lamb from the lady over there. <laughs> lamp is a good answer. Thank you very much. What else have we got? A bed. A bed. Where are you, love? Hello, flower. Up there. Uh, and you broke the bed. Was it fixable or did you have to buy a new one? You got a new one. Okay, there's lots of giggling going on there. Uh, is it, let's have a look, is it the partner that you're with? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, sorry, but if you sit in couples like that, I'm going to make assumptions about your flower. Uh, so it's this lady here, the one that's looking desperately like she wishes she wasn't here. Uh, so did you insist on the new bed? Was it a chance to get a new bed? It was at uni, and it, the landlord said you had to buy a new bed. <laughs> Did he come in and inspect it? <laughs> Did you lose your bond? That's what happens, isn't it, when you fuck a bed to death? <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to go. Was anybody hurt, or was it all all right? It was fine. So we've got a bed, thank you very much, couple who love sitting next to each other so much. Uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, so we've got a bed and, uh, and we've got a lamp. What else we got? We have a dessert table. A dinner table? Who said a dinner table? A bird table. <laughs> Were you the bird on the table? What did you say, shout louder? A dessert table. <laughs> All of my tables are dessert tables. <laughs> I'm just guessing, but are you quite posh? <laughs> well, this is for the bruschetta. Uh, <laughs> then we move over here and we've got I don't know, sausage mash, I don't know. Uh, I can't even think of a posh main course. Did you say Coco Van? Fucking surprise! For desserts. <laughs> yes. Oh, you worked in a restaurant, so you're really not posh. No. <laughs> and was it? Did it have? Why are we having sex at work? I like that. There's at least sixty percent of the room going. My sex life is rubbish. <laughs> so was the restaurant still open? Were people like trying to get the jelly and ice cream from round you and that? Under the dessert table. Don't know, I feel like a proper tit now. <laughs> See, if it was me, I'd probably, I'd want to be in, like, writhing in amongst it. <laughs> and then I'd just go, you know what, fella, I don't really need you. Um, <laughs> oh, creme brulee. <laughs> See, I thought of a posh pudding. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Did you get caught? No. Well, now everybody knows because it's on a DVD, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like, I think I used to work in Nando's with her. <laughs> Dessert table is a good answer. Thank you very much, love. Uh, what else we got? It was a what? A rear view mirror. A rear view mirror. <laughs> okay, there's lots of questions here. Um, <laughs> hello, by the way. Uh, was the car moving? <laughs> no. Okay, that's, that's safety first. Got to get that out of the way. Was it knocked off with an arse by any chance? <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Did you not notice till you were trying to drive away? There's <laughs> something not right. No, it's not the spunk in me hair. It's, um... <laughs> that's normal. 
it's Tuesdays. Uh, can't seem to see behind me. You've still got it in the cleft of your ass, love. Uh, now, does that, did it shear off or just unclip? Because can, you can slot them back in, can't you? Apparently. Shut up. Did it? It was quite an old car. And it's, oh, yeah, classy, aren't you? <laughs> Having sex in an old car. <laughs> well done. Was it through the day? No. No, uh, no obviously. I look there, you're like, what do you think? I am some kind of monster. <laughs> I don't know anybody else. You know how everybody talks about dogging and everything? And I, I don't know anybody who does it. Maybe I do. But every time I see two cars together, I just go, dogging. <laughs> It could, one of them sometimes is an RAC van. <laughs> Dogging. <laughs> no, they're not. So a rear view mirror is a very good answer. Thank you, Flower. Have we got anybody else? Blood vessels. <laughs> We've gone all the way from lamp to blood vessels. Uh, uh, <laughs> where were the blood vessels? <laughs> You thought he was dribbling on you? <laughs> we need to know the rest, otherwise I'm not asleep. <laughs> Just put your fingers in your ears if you're already feeling a bit sick. <laughs> We've all, did you just say, you've all been there? <laughs> Too much dribble, it's a telltale sign, pet. and he looked like a butcher's slab. You looked like a butcher's slab. He was champion. <laughs> he was ready for the next goal. So, it, yes, it would be a passion killer. If it wasn't a passion killer, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> so you didn't actually work out where the blood came from? It was, oh, it was his nose. Oh, that's, it could have been a lot worse, because probably the most painful one I've had so far, a man said he'd broken his banjo string. Oh. It's about cocks, you should like this one. <laughs> Slapping them and that. No. Uh, if you don't know what a banjo string is, uh, you should just Google it when you get in. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, I'm not your mum. Uh, oh, if it <laughs> shouldn't be your mum that ever tells you that. <laughs> now, things you need to know, what can snap on a cock? when you say banjo string, though, and, and a lot of the people in the room know what it is, and other people are going, why was he playing a banjo? <laughs> I don't get it. Doesn't sound very sexy to me. It's not a sexy instrument. Thank you very much for that, Flower. God, I hope everybody's all right now. Jesus Christ. Uh, there was a man, actually, I did a, a show, and a man shouted out that he'd broken his foot during sex, and I said, did you carry on, or did you stop? And he said, carried on. <laughs> and I recognised his accent, he was a Geordie, and I thought he probably didn't even put his fucking pie down. <laughs> but I know it's a very personal question, and I'm grateful to those of you who did join in, thank you very much. What sometimes happens is people go, I'm not going to tell her in front of all those people, but I'll send her an email when I get in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I've got an email, oh, oh. <laughs> Although I have got a man, who, uh, a man who sorts my website out, so he actually filters my emails. Mainly because I'm not very technical, but also, because for a while I was getting loads of pictures of men's cocks just sent to me. And now he can print them off so I can put them on the wall. <laughs> just as a border, it's not too much. Would you like to sleep in the cock room this evening? <laughs> well, probably my, the, the, probably the best one that I've ever had by email, a lady said she'd broken a man's pelvis. Oh. Yeah, it was a one night stand, she was on top, he was screaming, she thought he was having a marvelous time. <laughs> But my favourite one in a, in, a, in a show, lady said she'd broken a man's spirit. <laughs> I think we've all done that from time to time. I brought my vibrator once, that counts, right? Um, and normally when I break things, I give them to me dad to fix. <laughs> what can I do that? So I just watch it off the bedside cabinet and it got it going again. It's not really a joke, that one, it's just a tip for the ladies. 